So how to open a can with a machete? It's machete is too big and almost uncomfortable to keep pounding like this. It just takes a lot of effort. Well, the effortless way to do it is just put the can sideways. And then what you want to do, lift the can up and go like this. Boom. 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 You see, machete got inside of the can. And I didn't hit it with the machete because I don't want to miss it and slide and hit my hand. So just go like this. And then once you did one hole, what you want to do, place it next to your stomach. You see how I'm holding my fingers? Don't hold it like that hold it like this and just cut it down boom and you open a can really easily what do you guys think and also it's safe to open it this way let's try this one more time set it like this boom 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 done now i'm gonna set the bachetta like that and And boom, even though it's liquid, Machetta blocked it from coming out, from spilling. I'm going to show you a very cool and super cheap fire starter. All you need is pine cones and some old candles. Let's check this out. So I got here a box in the beaker. I'm gonna set it down like that and melt it up. I'm gonna wait till all that wax is melted and then we're gonna dip the pine cones into the wax check this out it's almost melted all the way all that wax is looks like liquid but it's very 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 hot so be very careful when you do that now we're gonna get a pine cone and dip it in into the wax like that you see it's gonna start boiling but that's okay we need all that wax right on looks like the easiest way to do it once the wax starts and cool off it's so easy to dip it and look how much wax on the cone. That's what you want to have. Just like that. It might be a little bit too much of wax, but you know, get a lot of cones. And guess what? Pine cones are free. Old candles are free as well. Just crumble it up, boil it. And now you have free fire starter, which is amazing. And they look amazing as well. Look at this. Looks like snow. Well, now all we have to do is light it up and see what happens. Now let's try to light it up and see what happens. Now you know what you need to do. Just put a bunch of candle in and it's super easy to start a fire and super cheap. Nutella fire starter. Let's check this out. So first we're gonna get some Nutella and stick it into this beaker. Look at this deliciousness, chocolate. Just like this. Then I'm going to grab potassium permanganate and mix it with Nutella. Just like this, you see? And I mix it very, very well till it's completely black. Okay, now let's take it all out into this wood board. Looks good. You see how it's mushy still, but it looks very black. Instead of this brown color, it looks black. So that's what we wanted to do. And it's still mushy, it's not too much potassium permanganate. And it's the right color, so it's not too much of the Nutella. So now let's set it on fire and let's see how long it will burn. And I guarantee you, it should burn really, really hot. Just going to use paper matches, see if it's hard to start it. Wow, really easy to start it off. This little thing. This is insane. Check this out, how easy it is. Here you go. Look at this. This is burning so long and burning so hot. This is awesome. Wow, look at this. This is so cool. It's a fire technique called fire candle. So let's check this out. What you're going to do is grab three logs and set them up just like this. One, two, and three, just next to each other. Then of course you wanna grab small twigs and put it in between of them. Then we're going to light it up 
I like to use this fire starters and what I'm gonna do is just light one of these things up should catch on pretty easily you see it's burning then I'm gonna put it over there once this fire is gone put another log and just smoosh it right into here Now as you can see most of the flame coming out from the middle and now we can just set a pot on this and cook our stuff and boil the water and it's perfect. Fire coming out from the logs now, just the logs are burning and we can set our pot and we can boil water pretty easily and the pot is sitting over there really really comfortably so it's not gonna fall off and boil water really fast. All you need is a little bit of sugar, 50-50% ratio of sugar and potassium permanganate. And as you can see, I already cut up a piece of stick. Again, kids do not try this at home. So I'm gonna mix all this together. Do you see it? That's it. That's how easy it is to start a fire. Stick, sugar and potassium permanganate. Amazing. That was so easy, I'm gonna try this again. So I'm gonna put sugar again. Boom, just like that. Potassium permanganate. It's amazing to have potassium permanganate in your survival bag. Look, just in a can like that, you don't have to have that big of a can in your survival bag. So I'm gonna mix it all together. And then all we have to do is do some friction. And boom, that's it. Awesome, huh? That was so easy, it's insane. And look how hot it is burning. So all you have to do is next is put a bunch of little sticks and you got yourself fire. You can cook, you can boil water and you won't get sick because you don't want to get a bunch of worms or whatever bacteria if you don't boil water out of the river. Woo! Did you see that? That was success! Wow, I did not expect it. 